Hi, today I will show you what torches I use for jewelry making and silversmithing. If you're looking for a torch, I hope this video will help you choose the right one for yourself. I will present four different hand torches that I've been using. Let's get started. My very first torch was this one by Dremo. This torch, like all the others, are butane torches, which you will fill up with butane gas. I have a video on how to do it linked in the description box below. This torch produces a fine flame, but it's very decent and pretty strong. Of course, it depends on what you want to use it for, but this is the type of jewelry this torch was able to tackle. Combined with a charcoal brick as a soldering surface, I think the heat should be sufficient for you, especially with the smaller projects and in the beginning. It is especially perfect for rings, jump rings, small details and chains. The second torch I got was a very simple one from a hardware store. I don't remember the brand, it wasn't anything in particular. It was supposed to be my backup torch, but I ended up using it for larger pieces, because it has a larger and a strong flame that heats up the metal much faster than Dremel. It was very inexpensive, but it works just fine. I never had any issues with it. I'd recommend having a backup torch like this one, which you can also use for larger designs. Next torch is this Tsunami torch by Pepe Tools. Similarly to the previous one, this torch offers a stronger flame and has more space for gas, which extends the time of soldering. It's still compact and quite light. I haven't noticed any issues with it. It works best with a full flame and I use it for larger projects and chunkier pieces. For example, when I want to make sure that the whole piece heats up quickly and evenly for the solder to flow simultaneously around multiple bezels. My last addition is this Orca torch, recommended by some of you guys in the comments as well as Elke from the number 13 jewelry. This torch really is amazing and I'm very happy I got it. It doesn't have an automatic igniter, but I don't find it to be an issue. I use a torch igniter to light it up or you can just use a lighter. It has a wide range when it comes to a flame size and strength and it's pretty powerful. From a fine flame for small details and dainty pieces to a stronger one that can heat up larger elements. It's quite small and light. You may think that it requires constant refilling due to its size, but I'd say it's pretty normal. I haven't noticed it being too frequent. It's the most expensive torch out of all of the previous ones, but I totally recommend it as an upgrade before you are able to invest in a proper Smith's torch. And speaking of, I'm counting days till I can finally use the Smith's little torch, which is a very popular one among makers and metal smiths. You use it with a gas and oxygen, so it's definitely a more advanced and costly setup, but it also offers much more possibilities. I hope this comparison may help you make a decision which torch to choose. It's hard for me to just pick one because I find them all very useful and I use them all, all the time. 
I think that having two torches, one with a finer flame and a second one that's much stronger would be a perfect setup for a successful soldering. But if you really, really want me to name just one, well, Dremel, which isn't an expensive torch, has been with me for the past six years, since the very, very beginning, and it still works just fine. I guess that tells you something. Whichever you choose, I know you will be happy. Don't stress too much over it. Just get one and start making. <laughs> Have fun and good luck. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!